how to create and sell your own only course or digital products in funnels that lets you earn passive income on autopilot and today we're only going to need these tools first is ChatGPT for ideas or outlines system io to build our funnels a little bit of canva for custom designs and tiktok or instagram for our social media marketing i've been wanting to create a full step-by-step -step tutorial about this and finally i got the time to put all things together all because i've also tried it myself and this is one of the best investments that i've ever had so far ever since i got into digital marketing if you have a bit of following on your social media accounts and you want to monetize your content in the long run you may want to consider having your own digital product to sell whether your interest is in ebook courses template planners as long as it's something helpful to your niche or your group of community for example if you are into budgeting financial management you could sell budget planners or excel templates and a good thing about online courses or any digital product is that you won't need an inventory no packaging no shipping headaches everything can really be done in automation but it could be one of the most difficult product to market compared to a physical product all because you have to have some sort of authority in your niche to be able to sell and the digital product also needs to be something that will solve a problem something that is highly valuable but the most important thing is how you're going to market it i've read one quote that says that product with good marketing is going to sell more than a good product with bad marketing so for this video i'm going to be walking you through the process of creating your own online course designing them so it will be market ready and then uploading down to creating a sales funnel that will capture the interest of your target audience i will also be giving some tiktok and instagram strategies to make sure that you're going to get your first lead or your first sale when you soft launch your product first is designing your course outline but do make sure that you have a concept ready in mind and you're able to answer the following questions like what is my course all about who are my target audience what problems will it solve what is my execution should i have my face on screen talking or i will be just using powerpoint presentation will i be offering a full course or does it come with a mini course all those things that we will be exploring later on if however you're not interested in creating your own course just yet but you're interested in selling digital courses i do have a ready-made done for you online course it's called course retail academy that you can use as a foundation rebrand and resell it as your own and you get the full profit this is under the master resale rights so once you purchase the course creator it's yours for any particular usage you may want to have if you are interested to know more about this program i have my link below which comes with a free webinar so let's say for example my concept or course title is all about youtube growth and monetization and i want to name it as the ultimate youtube monetization strategies now i just have to go to chat gpt type in my prompt write a full course outline about the ultimate youtube monetization strategies okay so it showed me course overview week one two three four five i'm sure most of you now are very very much familiar with how chat gpt works you just make sure that you specify your prompts so that it will actually give you all the details that you will need so you can see here chat gpt gave me an overview or background about my course topic estimated duration um, the target audience what will be the prerequisites and then the course outline which is divided into weeks it also gave me suggestions on what kind of projects i could do the assessments and all the add-ons that will be helpful um but not necessary of course you could tweak all these and do something on your own but in case you need some inspiration or some kind of template you could definitely use chat gpt for that so now that i have my outline i would like to prepare another outline or a full script whichever you're more comfortable with but you can also use chat gpt to create your script or outline guide for each set of topic for example chat gpt recommended me these set of topic and subtopics for the first week so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy that and then ask it to write a full script about write a full script about okay 
There we go. It even has its introduction, um, some camera shots. Of course, I'm not going to use that for my course. Um, it's up to you if you want to follow ChatGPT suggestions step by step. So again, it gave me discussion points for each slide that I could use or incorporate when preparing for my presentation. But at least you get the idea and you could kind of just follow whatever is suggested. Like here, for example, slide one is going to be your course title. We've also got slide two here, slide three, slide four, and all that, just to make your life so much easier. But if you have something ready, something planned, even if you don't use ChatGPT, that's definitely okay. In fact, it's it's more it's more of an advantage because you, you, you get to personalize your presentation or your teaching tools. The second step in creating your own course is to prepare your materials. You could use Microsoft PowerPoint or Canva, but for this demo and to make my work faster, I'm going to be using Canva because after all, it also has its built-in templates, which we all love. And it has elements, photos and videos that I may need to create my course. So let's do a bit of an example. For the first slide, you want to show your students that it's an introduction to your topic which is also very similar to what ChatGPT suggested to us earlier. So let me just open Canva and then search for presentation. Okay, so let's say we like this as a theme of your presentation because when we think about YouTube, is red. Okay, you just replace that um, introduction. Just type in introduction and your title introduction to um what's my title youtube monetization strategies in this part most of your discussion will revolve around the content of the course what are they going to expect to learn in this course how useful is it going to be for them it's so important that you are building excitement on the introduction part which would encourage them to continue and finish the course till the end. So let's say you're happy with your presentation. You could either do a voiceover or actually record yourself while showing your slides you made using Canva. If you don't have a desktop app to screen record yourself, you could use Loom. It's an online platform that allows you to record your screen along with your face on camera. Now for the next bit is the most exciting part, uploading your course to a free marketing platform called System.io. And this is where we're going to automate everything that will make your online business so seamless. You literally would earn money while sleeping. That, of course, if you set it up correctly. Okay, so again, System.io is completely free. You could also sign up with no card required. For this demo, I've created a new account. And once you're in, here's your dashboard. This is where you're going to see your leads and your sales. And the first thing we want to do is go to products. You have options for physical products, orders, coupons, and courses, which is what we want. So we're going to click on that. And then we're simply just going to add new course. So we've got fields to fill in. For the course title, I would type what we came up with a while ago, the ultimate YouTube monetization strategies. Then for course description, you can put your own words or you can also use ChatGPT so to help you work faster. And then for your course URL, you could customize the path. It comes with System.io brand for the free version. If you want to remove that, you have to upgrade. But again, it's not something so important right now. Our priority is to make a sale first before making any upgrading. You could also choose a theme for your course page as well as a font style that suits your brand. Then you're going to upload your photo, logo, and course cover. Then you click Save. I'm just not going to upload anything for now, but of course, make sure that you have all these ready before launching your own course. So now you have to upload your full course. Make sure you have your titles and videos ready. If you want a more in-depth tutorial about creating your own course, you can check out my description down below to learn more. So you could actually get the step-by-step -step procedure and the best practices in making or creating a course. So now you have your course details set up and ready. And once you click that, this is where you're going to add your modules, of course, your videos, your presentations. So you just click on add module 
and for module or you could call it module one or lesson one lesson one introduction click save all right so the next big question is how are we going to automate this online business and earn extra income passively this is where creating a funnel comes in when you head over to funnels click create funnel we've got options to choose from but everything is customizable inside so let's say we're just going to go for sell a product or service by default the currency showing is euro wherever you are living at the moment but you could definitely change that later now all you need is to set up your funnels system io has its own built-in templates already set up one is order form and the thank you page where your customer could access the product directly these two are actually good enough but to be able to make an impact we want to add some more funnel and each page should come for a purpose so let's say for example you are also collecting leads for your newsletters and in case you will be launching a series of products starting off your funnel with a landing sign up page is something you should consider and we actually want them to sign up so that they would go to the next page or the order form so we want to give them some kind of a push like say for example ready to um monetize your free oh wait content on youtube of course you can make this shorter but let's say for example this is good enough and we want to choose the next step url so that again once they click this button they will go to the order form automatically so let's change this button text to sign up okay just click save changes if you feel that you've customized everything so then we want to go back to the funnel list as you can see on the side it should be organized just as how you want your clients to see or how you want the funnel to work like for example right over here the order form is the starting point which we don't want we want to actually drag the sign up page first we want it to come first and to be the first page that the client will see and then the next one is order form and the thank you page for the thank you page usually it's where you let the customer or the client to download your digital product so let's say for example um this is a preview template from system io and you want to use this template of course you want to say thank you for registering or thank you for signing up thank you for downloading and then you get a button over here where they could access the digital product finally you have to know how to market your digital product because again you could have the craziest best product in the world but without a fuel there's no sale and you'll only end up thinking that your product isn't good enough when you know that it's something you worked really hard for, right? Okay, so when marketing your digital product, I highly advise you to start with TikTok and Instagram, but go really heavy on TikTok. Also, you have to understand that although Instagram and TikTok allow you to share vertical videos, there's a clear distinction between the two, which separates the line between TikTok creators and Instagram creators. TikTok is more of a raw, natural type of content, while Instagram is more staged and really looks into aesthetics hooks and video length however because instagram already allows you to add your link even with less than a thousand followers as compared to tiktok it's a kind of advantage that you should grab when you're planning to soft launch or start marketing your digital product if you want an in-depth tutorial and my personal tips in converting your instagram followers into customers i have my instagram marketing videos here or you can check that playlist by the end of this video and start binge watching for TikTok, I do am planning to create a series of videos about it as well, especially on how I managed to increase my video views and jump past the 200 views that most of starting creators get stuck with. These numbers are really depressing. But yeah, to give you a bit of my takeaways, if you really want your TikTok account to grow, first is to find a creator or several creators that you can copy. Not to copy their video, but to recreate their videos with your own words, your own style. And why this strategy is highly recommended is because we want to be able to sell fast. So if their strategy is already working, you just got to grab the clue, adapt it to your own strategy. Second is to make use of its features like pixel carousels. This method is my number one booster when my videos are getting low views again. 
And then we've got the green screen effect, or you or where you actually cut yourself out while you're explaining something on screen. This really works because it's attractive and interactive and very TikTokish in a way that it's become a TikTok culture. And last piece of advice, really think about your hooks. And when I say hooks, the how-tos just no longer deliver, personalize and storyify your title. For example, instead of saying how to create and sell course online, you could say how selling courses has made me quit my nine to five job. This way, you've also become very specific on who and what kind of audience you're targeting. And I think that covers what I want to talk about today. I hope you got some key learnings or key takeaways from this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you think this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on updates.